Hello, and welcome back to the Steve Ball Show. Um, thank you guys for watching. First off, we're going to start off with talking about, have you guys seen the show La Brea on NBC? Well, it's getting good. Um, this week, they were going through like a storm, um, and uh, uh, they they were dealing with, um, they were dealing with, um, there's like a village that, that they stole food from, and they were dealing with, um, the village people, uh, I don't know what they're called, they were dealing with them coming against them because they stole fruit from them, and, and then there was a fog, and then there was like these, um, wolves that were coming after them, and then, um, so they had to go hide from the wolves, and then they saved the people from the village, and it was kind of cool, and, um, it was kind of cool to see, um, two of the people were, um, the kids, uh, um, teen, I don't know how they are, but they're in 1988, and they're trying to warn them from the sinkholes. And um, it's cool that at the end of the episode, you find out that um, the Isaiah slash Gavin, because this is there's a, there's a, those, those are his two names. You see that his mom is in um, 1988, I think it is. Um, and um, it's cool to see how um, everything's working out. And um, I can't see what they do with that. Uh, see how. Um, because one one of the girls that works there was like a tower. She knew that she knew that um, all about the sinkholes and stuff. So I can't wait to see what happens with that. So if you want to watch that, that's on uh, NBC um, on um, Tuesdays, I believe, at ten o'clock. So if you want to watch that, um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is Quantum Leap. That's on um, Mondays at ten o'clock, and it was cool to see this week. He jumps into a like a guy. He's in the western, um, like a, a western. It was like a western kind of, and he had to save the people because there was these um, this bad guy. Um, he was wanted, and he was trying to take over the town. And he had a he really didn't want to shoot the guy, and like um, because he doesn't the guy who jumps doesn't agree the person. He doesn't agree with guns and stuff, but it, he was gonna have to duel. The guy, um, if, he, if he won, the guy would leave or vice versa, but he found a way, spoiler, he found a way to get the guy um, and capture him and, and uh, save the town for, because they needed money for the railroad because they were building the railroad. So it's kind of cool to see how he jumps um, from place to place and um, to see uh, why he's doing it. And it's cool to see he's finally remembering his girl, his fiance, and uh, I can even see... Um, when he finally remembers what happens and can't wait to see where he goes. So if you want to watch that, that's on um, Fox, I believe, on Mondays. So if you want to watch it, I, uh, I suggest you check it out. Next thing I'm going to talk about is um, the Mighty Ducks um, Game Changers, and that's on um, Disney Plus. That comes out every Wednesday. It's cool to see how they have, they had the draft this week on the episode and to see how um, which. To see how they get drafted, and um, it was cool to see the the mom from the from Mighty Ducks. She drafted like her team, kind of besides like all the people that, and all the players that weren't suspected to be drafted. Cause um, and see how she traded her way up to get that overall pick, and uh, and uh, um, see these underdogs. Hopefully, they they beat um, the top people. Um, and it's a good show. Um, if you want to watch that, it's on Disney Plus. So yeah, I can't wait to see what they do it and see who wins the tournament. Um, they're like at a camp, kind of, um, from and a guy. I forget his last name's Cole. I forget his first name, but he was an, his character was an NHL, and it's kind of cool to see um, uh, what they are doing with that show. So, next thing I'm gonna talk about is I like what they're doing with Rhea Ripley. I got a new shirt from her, um, and uh, and, and Finn Balor and um, Damian Priest and. Dominic, with the Judgment Day, I like what they're doing with that storyline. I like how they're going against uh, the good, the um, the original club, the OC, um, and I can't wait to see what they do with that. Um, and uh, I like I like how they their characters are um, feuding with the with them. Um, hopefully, the Judgment Day wins because the OC they always win. They've won before um, those people. So hopefully, one of these days, Rhea Ripley. Be Gets either tag team or, or the women's championship, and then Dominic hopefully we make a tag team or one of the or intercontinental or one of those championships, um, and 
it's cool that they've moved um, Rey Mysterio over to um, SmackDown to have other feuds. Um, also, speaking of WWE, um, I'm glad they bring Bray Wyatt back, and I uh, can't wait to see what he does with his character. Um, last, last, this last Friday, he was like kind of himself um, and thanking the fans for helping him to get through his tough time that he had when he was released. And um, so it looks like he's going to have different personalities cause have, because at the end, um, at the end, uh, there was another, another character and he was kind of warning him. So I can't see what they do with him and then the, and the uh, Firehouse Funhouse characters. I can't see what they do. So um, can't see that. So yeah, and that's Friday Night Smackdown on Fox. Next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, if you haven't watched the uh, if you haven't seen it, She Oaks on um, it was a finale last week on Disney Plus, and it was kind of cool to see how they um, end that story for the season. Um, like they were ch like somebody was trying to take her powers from her, and um, and then it, and then she saw this like AI artificial person uh, controlling her story, and then um, Daredevil comes to help her, and then. At the end of the episode, you see Hulk with he uh, finds his son, and I forget his name, but I can't see what they do with with um, she wins the case against um, I think she was in court for something, and she wins the case. Yeah, she, she took the guy to court, I think, and then I can't see what they do with that storyline um, with the Hulk and his son, and um, hopefully she teams up with Daredevil in his show. It's called Daredevil Reborn, and um, hopefully she teams up with him sometimes, and it's it was kind of cool to see her. Her and um, her, uh, she Hulk and Daredevil kind of be like a couple. Hopefully, they uh, date for a little bit, um, and it's a good show. If you want to watch this on Disney Plus, all the all the episodes are there now available to watch. So, next thing I want to talk about is if you haven't got this game, NHL 23. It's pretty good. I just got it. It came out last week. Um, it's a little harder to score goals than last year's. Um, Last year's was real easy. This year it's kind of harder, so you have to check a lot of players and be really aggressive on on um, on, on offense and defense. You have to be aggressive too. So it's a good game. Um, you can get it anywhere that games are sold. So uh, I like how they do that. I like um, also they add a new button. You can like juke. Um, I think it's L1 or R1. L I think it's L1 or L2. So um, it's pretty cool. Um, the graphics are pretty good too, so yeah. Next thing I want to talk about is Steve's vinyls, and this album I want to talk about is called Taylor Swift's Lover. It's one of my favorite. Um, it's one of my favorites of hers. Her, I like I like all her songs on there. Um, I forget to use this: "The Cruel Summer," "Lover," "The Man," "The Archer," "I Think He Knows," "Miss America," and "The Heart Break," "Prince," "Paper Rings," "Cornella Street." Death by a Thousand Cuts, London Boy, Soon You'll Get Better, False God, You Need to Calm Down, Afterglow Me, It's Nice to Have a Friend, and Daylight. I think this is one of her better albums, and um, if you want to, you can get it um, on Amazon, or eBay, or Walmart, Target, or Hope, I think sometimes you can in the store. It's one of her better albums, and I can't wait. Speaking of her, her new album comes out on Friday, I think it's called Midnight's, um, I can't wait to get it, Lord willing. Um, cause, uh, she's been releasing, um, a lot of her new stuff, or, oh, and she's been releasing a lot of her old stuff, so I can't wait to see what, how, how it is, so, I can't wait to get that on Friday. Um, last but not least, we're gonna do NFL picks for this week. Um, hold on, cause I gotta get, I gotta get the picks from... My text message from Billy and Joey. Wait. One minute, people. I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna do Steve's, and with the past couple weeks have been Steve's, Joe, and Bill's picks. So the first game of the week 
is the New Orleans Saints versus the Arizona Cardinals. Um, Bill, you wrote about thinks the Arizona Cardinals will win 27 to 24. I think uh, that the Cardinals will win. I think it's going to be a little higher than that. I think the Cardinals will win 34 to 24 because Arizona and the Saints are about the same. They're about even. Um, they're both mediocre teams, but um, I think it'll be a little more um, in Arizona's favor because they've got a new receiver in Robbie Anderson. So I think he has an impact on this game. I think the defense for the Arizona will play better than the Saints. So I think Arizona wins this game 34 to 24. And Joe says that the Cardinals will win 28 to 21. So the next game is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Carolina Panthers. I think Tom Brady has a bounce back game. He lost less. I'm pretty sure. I think he lost last week. Yeah. So I think um, that uh, I think the Bucks win this game. I think they win 28 to 17. Carolina is not that good. Uh, Baker Mayfield's hurt, so they have PJ Walker, um, and they just traded one of the receivers away. Um, they could rely on um, Christian McCaffrey, but that's not going to help them that much. And their defense isn't that great. So I think that the Bucks have the better advantage with the defense and offense. They have Mike Evans and Leonard Fournette. Brady's not going to have a back. He doesn't usually have back-to-back -back big games, so he's gonna. they're going to win this game. Um, Billy said Tampa Bay will win 20-13. to And Joe said that the Bucks will win 37-14. to So the next game is the Atlanta Falcons versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe says that the Bengals are going 28 to 14, and Billy Rodebaugh says the Bengals win 31 to 28. I agree. I think the Bengals are way better than the Falcons. The Falcons are, are surprisingly um, up there with they're tied with the Bucks. <clears throat> surprisingly, they're up there. Um, so I just think the Bengals are way better. I think it's going to be a blowout. I think um, Jamar Chase and, and uh, Joe Burrow are going to have a big game. Uh, so are mixing. So I think it's going to be 42 to seven, um, where they the Bengals they've been getting better each week, and I think they just hit on all cylinders. Um, so I um, and T Higgins will get in there. So I think that if you need to on fantasy, if you need to get a quarterback, get Joe Burrow, or if you need some receivers, go with the Bengals this week. I think they will have a blowout blowout week this week against the Falcons. The next game is the. Detroit Lions versus the Cowboys. Um, Joe says the Cowboys will win 42 to 28. Um, and Billy says the Cowboys will win 27 to 17. I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to say that Dak plays okay because he's coming back, but I say that the Bank, not the Bengals, I, play, I say that the Lions play a little better. I say they win. I say the Lions go down the field and win in last second. The last second field goal, I say they win 24 to 21 against the Cowboys mm, this week. I the Lions win. One. The next game is the New York Giants versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Joey says the Giants will win 28 17. Um, Bill, Bill says. The Jaguars will win 27 to 23, and I agree with Bill. I think that the Giants have just been getting lucky. They're five and one lucky, um, and I don't think they're going to win again. I think um, this week. I think Trevor Lawrence and Etienne will have a good game. So will uh, uh, Marvin Jones and Zay Jones. So I think it will be a two-score game. I think that the Jaguars will win 35 to 21 against the Giants this week. The next game is the. Green Bay Packers against the Washington Commanders. Um, Billy wrote about, I guess, thinks that Green Bay will win 27 to zero because he never he didn't put nothing there. So, and Joey says the Packers will win 34 to 17. I agree with Joe with that score, 34 17. I think Aaron Rodgers has a bounce back game. He usually doesn't have two bad games in a row, um, but. What they need to do, they need to go out. The Packers need to go out and get a receiver because he's struggling without receivers. The receivers' cores that he has is mediocre, so he needs to go out and get somebody to help him. He has Randall Cobb, and 
he has two good running backs in A.J. Dillon and Jamal Adams, but that's all they have. So, and their defense is not that good. So, um, he needs to go get, they need to go out and get some receivers. Maybe go get Odell Beckham Jr. So, I think the Packers win 34 to 17. The next well, game is the Indianapolis Colts versus the Tennessee Titans. I just think the Titans. Uh, I think they. I think they. Uh, Bill, I think they win this game. Um, I think they win twenty-four to seventeen against the Colts. Billy Rodabas says twenty-four to twenty against the Colts, and um, Joe says twenty-eight to seven. The Titans win. So I think the Titans have a bounce back game. I don't know what the record is, but I think they win this game um, and have a good game this week against the Colts. Um, the next game is the Houston Texans versus the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Raiders. Um, Bill says the Raiders win. Las Vegas Raiders win twenty-three to twenty. Um, Joe says the Raiders win twenty-four to fourteen, and I kind of agree. I think the Raiders will win against the, the Texans. The Texans are not that good, um, and I think the Raiders are finally going to are finally getting going. I think um, Carr and Devontae Adams will finally get on the same page, um, and. Jacobs and whoever they have as running back will play well and their defense will play well. So I think it's a two-score game where the uh, Ra Raiders win 28 to 14 against against the uh, Texans. The next game is the New York Jets versus the Denver Broncos. Um, the Jets are just good this year. Um, uh, they finally have, have a coach that actually can help them win um, games, and Robert, Robert Sala, um, and they're playing good overall, and the Broncos are trash, um, sad to say. So Russell Wilson's playing horrible. I just think he continues to play horrible. He has nobody to throw to. The defense they have is not that great. Um, they're mediocre. Um, the Jets have a good defense, an okay defense they got built through the draft. Um, Zach Wilson's pl playing well. The receivers they have are playing well. I just, continue, I just think they continue to play well. And they win. I think they win thirty-one to seven against the the Broncos. Um, I think I Bill Bill said twenty-four to fourteen. Uh, the Jets win, and Joe says the I don't know what he said. He didn't put nothing here. Yeah, he didn't put nothing there. So I don't know what he picked for that one. Um, but the next game is Kansas City versus San Francisco 49ers. Um, Billy, um, Joey says the Chiefs will win 34-31. to 31. And um, I think the Chiefs will win against San Francisco. Uh, I think Patrick Mahomes, he doesn't have another, he doesn't have back-to-back. -back, he didn't have a bad game, but it just was an okay game. So I think he bounces back. I think it's um, a blowout. I think they win against the Niners easily. I think they win 42-10. to 10. Um, I just think they're way better than the Niners are at this point in the season. So um, I think they win this easily, um, they, and they click on all cylinders. Billy Redbox says they win. Kansas City wins 38 to 26 against the 49ers. The next game is the Seattle Seahawks versus the LA Chargers. Um, I just think the Chargers are a way better team than the Seahawks. Um, they're they're playing okay, the Seahawks, but I just think that. This will be a two-score game where the Chargers win this game, where Justin Herbert, um, Austin Eckler play well, uh, Mike Williams plays well, their defense plays well. So I think they win. Um, I think they win 35 to 21 against the Seattle Seahawks. And Billy Rodabaugh says they win 28 to 24 against the Seahawks, the Chargers. And Joe says the Chargers win 28 to 14. The next one. Next game is the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Miami Dolphins. The Steelers won last week, luckily, against the Bucks. I don't think that happens again. Um, I just think Tua comes back and has a good game, an okay game. Um, I think it it's a close game. Um, I think that the the Miami will win 28-21 uh, against the the Steelers. Um, uh, Billy Rodabaugh says Miami won 28-24 against the Steelers. And Joe says that the...
Oh, Joe says the Steelers will win 21 to 14. Um, so we'll see. I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see. Then the next last game is the Chicago Bears versus the New England Patriots. Billy Redabot says the Patriots will win 34 to 17. Um, and Joe says the Patriots will win 24 to 20. I kind of agree with both of them. I think the Patriots are way better than way better than the yeah, way better than the Bears. Um, I think it's going to be um, by three score game. I think that the uh, Patriots win 34 to 17 against the Bears because the Patriots, even though they have Bradley Zappi playing, I don't know. I think he's playing still. If, even if Mac Jones comes back, um, I just think they just way way better team. Um, overall, they have a good defense. They have a um, okay offense. So I think that Justin Her um, Justin Fields keeps can struggling, and that team just is just going to keep struggling. And the Patriots, even though I hate it, will win. I don't want either team to win because I don't like either team. But that's what I think wins. Um, so I hope all your teams, besides the Commanders, Cowgirls, Giants, um, Patriots. I hope all your teams win besides those teams. Um, enjoy your NFL Sunday. Um, thank you for watching my show. Please, please subscribe um, the, St uh, um, the Steve Ball Show on YouTube. Um, thank you for watching. Have a good week.